Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write numbers in expanded form. We will go through three examples together, and then you will try three practice problems on your own. Now, when we write a number in expanded form, we expand the number out to show the value of each digit, so how much each digit is worth. This helps our overall understanding of numbers and our ability to work with numbers. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 8,625. To start writing a number in expanded form, we start with the digit furthest to the left, and then we work our way right. So for number one, we start with this eight right here. Well, what's the value of this eight? What's it worth? Think about what place the eight's in. Well, the eight is in the thousands place, so it has a value of 8,000. So let's start our expanded form here. We put 8,000 plus, and we put an addition sign here because we want the sum of all of the values. We're adding the values of each digit when writing a number in expanded form. So we use addition in between. The sum of all of the values will equal the original number. Now moving to our next digit, so we are moving right, we have a six. This six is in the hundreds place. So the value of the six is 600. So we can put 600 plus our next digit is a two in the tens place. So that two has a value of 20 plus, and then lastly, we have a five in the ones place. This five has a value of five. So we put five here and that's it. That's 8,625 in expanded form. We expanded that number out to show the value of each digit. Let's move on to number two, where we have 708,330. So we start with the digit furthest to the left. That's this seven right here. So what's the value of this seven? Well, it's in the hundred thousands place. So the value of this seven is 700,000. The next digit is a zero in the 10 thousands place. This zero tells us that the number doesn't have any 10 thousands. So we don't have a value to show here. We don't have a value to write for the 10 thousands place. So we can move past that zero and move to this eight right here in the thousands place. So this eight has a value of 8,000. Then we have a three in the hundreds place. So the value of this three is 300. Then we have another three in the tens place. So the value of this three is 30. And then we have a zero in the ones place. So we don't have a value to show here. We don't have a value to write for the ones place. So we are done. That's the expanded form of 708,330. Lastly, let's take a look at number three, where we have 2,410,960. Let's start with the furthest digit to the left, this two. Now, what is the value of this two? Well, it's in the millions place. So it has a value of two million. So two million. And then we can move to the next digit, this four right here in the hundred thousands place. So this four has a value of 400,000. Next, we have a one in the 10 thousands place. So this one has a value of 10,000. The next digit 
is a zero in the thousands place. So we don't have any thousands for this number. We don't have a value to show here. So we don't have anything to write for the thousands place. So we can move to the next digit, which is a nine in the hundreds place. So this nine has a value of 900. Moving to the next digit, we have a six in the tens place. This six has a value of 60. And then we have a zero in the ones place. So we don't have anything to write for the ones place. So now that we've gone through a few examples together, let's move on to your practice problems. Have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. Write each number in expanded form. I'll give you two minutes and then we will go over the answers. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that's two minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are the answers. For number one, we should have 400 plus 70 plus two. For number two, we should have 50,000 plus 3,000 plus 900 plus 80. And then lastly, for number three, we should have 7 million plus 200,000 plus 1,000 plus 600 plus 20 plus 2. So there you have it. There's how to write a number in expanded form. Write the value of each digit. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.